film, Julia and Seb point out how we live in a world where you can learn so much about people's lives and even stalk people through social media. Has this movie changed your outlook on social media or privacy? Ben, if you want to answer first. Um, <laughs> ben. ben. <laughs> ben. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, has it changed my outlook? I, I think I was already very skeptical of, of social media anyway, to be honest with you. Um, so it hasn't really changed my perception of it, but it's part of the reason I made the, made the movie in the first place is because I, could, I completely agree with that sentiment. I knew that was something that I could get on board with in terms of playing Seb. And there's, Seb's quite a complicated person. Like everyone's uh, multifaceted. But um, so, I, you know, when you're playing someone whose intentions are maybe somewhat heinous, it's nice to have an access point. And I knew I could definitely agree with him on that. Um, mm -hmm. So that really helped me in terms of getting into his logic of why he did what he did. I'm trying to talk without in vagaries to not give away the plot of the movie, uh, as I'm sure you can appreciate. Um, but yeah, so that would be my answer. What about you, Justice? Um, has my relationship changed? Yeah, similarly to Ben, I've, I already kind of had a tumultuous relationship to social media. I actually really like what you do with your social media. You like platforms people, which is awesome. Oh, um, I recently unfollowed everyone from my social media um and now it's just like me <laughs> on my feed and that's it and that kind of helps me like not compare myself to other people or like be obsessed with what other people have going on um because it's so easy to do it's it's like it, it's almost uh second nature to compare yourself to others um so what comes up on your feed then? Just, it's just my posts. Oh, right. It's just wow. my posts, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because they got nothing. No, the algorithm algorithm can't work. Yeah, yeah. You it's just, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's great. Oh. Um, it's, it's lonely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it does help. It does help. You both have some steamy scenes in this film. Um, that's a little bit of an understatement. Um, is that something you guys get nervous about? And how do you mentally and physically prepare for them? Um, ayahuasca. Ayahuasca. We did ayahuasca together uh, by a three day trip. <laughs> it was really emotional. And uh, we had intimate scenes together, actually. But uh, <laughs> not relevant to the movie, yeah. but we were very comfortable with each other. Uh, no, uh, well, yes, no. Um, I've, I've got flustered now. Anyway, um, how did I prepare for it? I mean, I was, I was nervous about I actually, when I was, came out of drama school, I, one of the first things I did was. Uh, simulate sex on stage so i felt like i'd kind of covered that base so i was not i was terrified, on, terrified right out the gate right out of the gate yeah. like hungry drama school student i'll do anything get your kit <laughs> off okay you know. uh so i did it um so i felt like you know I, I wasn't worried about that part so much but i was more worried about was um especially in the the age that we're living in now which i think is great that there is much more awareness that maybe people haven't been comfortable with certain situations we definitely haven't been comfortable with situations um, over the past, however, whoever know, uh, who knows how long. Um, I was worried about about putting someone in an uncomfortable situation, but fortunately, um, not intentionally, obviously, but by mistake. And uh, so it was great that we had an intimacy coordinator on this who made sure that that didn't happen, which put me at which put me at uh, ease as well as as uh, as everyone else who I was having steamy scenes with. Yeah, yeah. Um, I went to the gym a lot. <laughs> the last question how would you tease the insane twist without giving it away and what was your initial reaction when you read it in the script oh i mean i signed on to do the movie before i even finished the script because i just thought it was that good um when i read the big reveal i was i, I just thought it was even better than what i had already thought um i mean uh how can I, I mean, how can I tease us without giving it away? It's very hard to tease yeah. without giving it away. And also, I don't like knowing if there's a twist in a movie. So if we could cut this whole thing. Oh, yeah, it, there's no twist. There's no twist in the movie. It's there is no bad. twist. I mean, it's a thriller. <laughs> a lot of thrillers have that. So yeah. I guess, yeah. 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 Um, but I get what you mean. Um, okay, here's, I've got it. I've got it. I've got okay. it. This is, this is the line I would go for. Okay. Just as everything you see on social media may not be what it seems. There's many things within our script, within our film that may not be what they seem.